Hi, and welcome to this short webinar that explains the three new released solutions that Festo has for dimensional metrology and quality control. So let's start with the definition of dimensional metrology and quality control. So why is it so important and why did we decide to do uh, three different training packages that cover this? Well, dimensional metrology is concerned with basically linear and angular measurements. It gives you the ability to ensure that the characteristics, actually the dimensional characteristics of products like length, angle, diameter, shape, position, they comply with design specifications or what the engineer had in mind. And once you have these measurements, if you have a process that repeats the same part in the same product all over again, like uh, millions of them, well, these measurements, the data you get from dimensional measurement will allow you for quality control during various stages of, of the manufacturing process. And so you will be able to use quality control tools such as statistical process control. So dimensional metrology is quite a large field and it targets multiple job profiles. So pretty much anyone who is to some extent involved in the manufacturing process has to have a basic knowledge of dimensional metrology. You can think of industrial mechanics, machinists, seamen, technicians, millerites, anyone involved in quality control activities as well. So what about our three learning solutions that I mentioned earlier? So we start with building fundamental skills in linear and angular measurements. So think about simple measuring tools such as, let's say, tape measure, a micrometer, a screw pitch gauge. So this training package is called basic dimensional metrology. The second one we have is called geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. It's also called GPS for geometric product specifications, but that would be outside of North America. It teaches the symbolic language of nominal geometry. So in a nutshell, we're trying to deal with the function of the part, not just the part by itself, but how it's used. And the third one, which uses data from the two previous ones, is called statistical process control. It's just one of the tools that's used in quality control. So in this one, we build a practical skill set in quality control, which is very important. So what are the main learning outcomes of these different learning packages? So for the first one, basic dimensional metrology, we want to explain what is metrology for sure, the concepts of measurement, errors, precision, accuracy. Uh, we're dealing with both the SI and US customary systems of units. It's very important because you'll find both in many places. Uh, how to use, how to maintain precision measuring instruments and semi-precision measuring instruments. Perform field check tasks. So I know I'm good at taking measurements, but can I be certain that the measurement tool I'm using is correct? So I need to field check it. Not calibration, but just field check the instrument to make sure that the data, the measurement it will give me will be accurate. And for sure, you have to read technical drawings. There exist a couple of diff explain the difference between all of those. The second one, which is called Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing, GDNT, we're focusing on reading the symbols that we find in GDNT, understand the differences between the ISO and the ASME standards for GDNT, uh, describe the categories of uh, geometric tolerances. We will use different tools. These training packages are really focused on the hands-on experience of the student. So they will use gauge block, dial indicators, and various accessories used extensively in GDNT. They will measure straightness, circularity, cylindricity, parallelism, and perpendicularity, among others. The last one, statistical process control. Students will learn how to set sampling plans. Uh, they will take measurements with connected tool and transfer them to a computer. Uh, they will collect, summarize, and present data, analyze and build control charts for variables and attributes. They will calculate and interpret capability indices like CP, CPU, CPK, uh, which are really common on the shop floor. 
If I switch now to what's included, we've made sure that these would be a really turnkey solution. So you will find all the hardware, all the parts, all the measuring tools that you need in a simple package. Uh, in that case, on the left side, you see we have parts and these parts have been especially manufactured here at Festo to ensure that students will be exposed to the challenges of using measuring instruments and give them multiple opportunities uh, of taking measurements because it's through practice and multiple repetition uh, uh, of using a specific tool that they'll become comfortable with it and build confidence. So on the right side, you have the tools that we supply with the uh, basic dimensional metrology package. So you will for sure recognize some of them. You see rules, protractors, tape measure, micrometers, calipers, small hole gauge, telescoping gauges, and so on and so forth. Now, let's take a brief moment to see exactly what are students going to be doing with that package. So if, I, if we take a look at this video, you see a student using our e-learning platform, which is called Festo LX for learning experience. He's taking parts, measuring instruments, looking at the exercise and trying to figure out how to use the part. But it's a really guided approach. So the student, if he doesn't know how to use a tool, which is what we expect, will set all the steps and explain in detail exactly what has to be done. As I said, we focus a lot on reading technical drawings. Here you can see a sampling of the parts. Most of them are made from stainless steel. Uh, whenever there's something which is a bit more difficult to do, uh, we will include video demonstrations that students can start directly on the computer or watch on their smartphone if they have a difficulty doing something which is not necessarily obvious to them at first. So for example, in that case, he's measuring the diameter of a part of a shaft. So as I said earlier, we offer multiple tools and we explain in detail how to use them. It's a great aid for teachers that want to either upgrade, improve or have their student exposed for the first time to uh, dimensional metrology. We have exercises and also we also we have exercises, but we also have projects in which students will uh, learn soft skills and we be, will have to present the data to other students or to a teacher in the same way they would in the shop floor or if a manager would come to them and ask them to explain what they are doing. Now, let's take a look at the second training package, which is called Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing. In this case, we are focusing on teaching the symbolic language of nominal geometry. As I said earlier, we are focusing on the function of parts. What was the intent of the part? Same approach as basic dimensional metrology package. We have parts on the top left side, again, specially manufactured to ensure that students would be exposed to challenges and motivating projects. We also include all the tools that are required for the different suggested experiments in the student and instructor manuals. Let's focus our attention now on a couple of students' manipulation, which we have a video of for you. The idea is, again, the same as with basic dimensional metrology. We offer our e-learning platform. We also offer printed copies of the students or instructor manuals, and we also offer PDFs or digital copies of the student and instructor guide. They are available in several languages. So in this case, again, we are really having a focus, a special emphasis on reading technical drawings, especially with geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. There are new symbols which are not present with basic dimensional metrology. And these symbols require a lot of attention. So we focus on that. All the tools, all the parts are supplied with the training solution. Here you see the student picking up parts again, measuring tools and following the steps from the student manual. In the case of the instructor guide, you will have all the answers and most. Uh, and on top of that, you'll also have quite a bit of uh, learning tips, how you should convey the material, for example, to uh, your student. So we have a set of exercises 
This is to build know-how, which is followed by projects. To build soft skills such as communication and decision making. So this is emphasized also throughout the experiments of the student and instructor guide. We've made sure that in between the different sets that we have, uh, if you have a class with 5, 10 or 20 sets, you will have a very good repeatability, which means that if you take a part, you take a measurement from one set and then you take a measurement from another set, it's going to be exactly the same. We've made sure that it would make your life easier by having really constant answers to the different questions and measurements that have to be taken. All the parts and tools, they come in stackable trays. And to get the information about a specific tool, you take your smartphone and you scan a QR code, which gives you the main characteristics. What are the main features of the various measuring instruments which are included? So this is really practical. If you want to know the range, the accuracy of a given tool, this will be available just by simply taking a picture of a QR code. Now let's turn our attention on the last training package, which deals with statistical process control, one of the main tools of quality assurance. We're focusing on building a practical skill set in quality control. Again, really emphasize on hands-on experimentation. So as I said earlier, the two first training packages, they build the skills to be able to take measurements, but these measurements have to be used for some purpose. One of the main, one of the really important purpose of measuring characteristics of parts is to be able to assess the manufacturing capability of a process. In a nutshell, to understand whether our process is able or not to manufacture parts within the specification. So this is one of the main goals of our training package, statistical process control. Uh, again, instructor guide, student manual with experiments and also with a project that will enhance soft skill uh, learning from your students. Let's take a look at some of the manipulations that students will do with the statistical process control training package. It's also available as a printed manual, both for instructor and student, and also as a PDF on top of being available on our e-learning platform, which is called Festo LX for learning experience. Every part, every tool is in a storage string, which can be put within a sustainer, which is optionally available. Student will connect the tool, pick up parts, take measurements. They look on screen and they'll see what happens in real time uh, to the data that they enter. This looks very much like what they would see on the shop floor. We talk about upper control limit, lower control limit, CPK, CPU, and so on and so forth, the capability indices. So this is very important because it relates to exactly what they see when they are in the manufacturing process. So we're not focusing on the theory, but really on the practical aspect in any of those training packages. Now, if we're trying to put these solutions together, how can we build a package that suits your specific need? Well, we've come up with three suggested learning paths. The first one on the left is called the complete coverage of dimensional metrology and quality control. So it includes the three packages, basic dimensional metrology, geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, as well as statistical process control, which is then in this case, an add-on to uh, basic dimensional metrology. If the idea is to skip geometric dimensioning and tolerancing because you really want to focus on the main fundamental measurement techniques, uh, you can have basic dimensional metrology plus statist statistical process control. And if you only want to focus on quality, then you go with statistical process control standalone, which doesn't require anything else. So you have multiple ways of packaging these uh, training packages. They can be all by themselves or they can be combined in the way shown here. Just to conclude, I want to explain how our systems can support 
you instructors as well as your students. So we make sure that we always have turnkey solution that includes all the hardware, the tools, and also the courseware, which is really important. We put a lot of effort read, writing our manuals. Uh, we consult with experts, with teachers, with people in the industry to make sure that what we've selected as learning aims, learning objectives, is really what's needed. Guided exercises are really good to master the fundamentals and build know-how in students. So we make sure that we will build the confidence they need to use tools. There are projects to build soft skills, which is more and more required. We often complain about the incompetencies of technical people to be able to communicate their results and what they do and why. This is something that we cover. The know-how is directly applicable to the job market. So this is suitable for colleges, vocational schools, universities, for engineers, for example, but this is also really of a great value for industries looking at upgrading uh, the knowledge base of their employees or for training the newcomers, for example. As I said earlier, parts are manufactured to ensure repeatability from one equipment set to another, and this is really important. You can have the peace of mind that from one set to another, it's going, going to be the same all the time. And if you combine the learning content, both theory and hands-on, of the three learning solution, you go up to 65 hours of learning. This is really a complete solution. If you have any question, don't hesitate to, communic to communicate with your regional uh, sales representative. It will be a pleasure to help you. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short webinar.